righty. So I have a construction update for you guys today, and you're going to get a sneak peek at it. Uh, so this is from today. Uh, this is launch tunnel number one. I'm getting ready to call it. Um, so, uh, before your eyes, it's going to look like they're doing the roof of the tunnel and that this isn't going to be a launch tunnel. And to be honest, when I first flew, that's a hundred percent what I thought. But upon closer examination, talking to some friends and talking to some people in the industry, I've learned exactly what is going on. And I'm going to throw up some images to compare exactly what's going on for you before your eyes. So let's look at Yukon Striker. So if you look at Yukon Striker's second tunnel or trench, a similar build design is happening to uh, this tunnel as Yukon Striker had for its second tunnel. So if you look there, it has the steel framing, which launch tunnel number one has. It has the cement behind it, and then it also has the steel bars going across. Now, of course, Yukon's second tunnel doesn't need a bridge going over it, but our launch tunnel will. So you see the rebar cages going upwards on our launch tunnel. Um, that is because they're going to start building upward to get over the tunnel. Um, I do suspect the scaffolding will come down, and sometime later this week or early next week, you'll see footings getting drilled um, in that spot for our new coaster. Um, so I do think that before April 20th, about a week before, maybe a week and a half, two weeks before, um, the track will be installed and the roof will go up. Um, so yeah, I know there is a very controversial video out right now on my channel, by the way. I know a lot of you are very upset with the video released. Um, I'm telling you right now, the only reason I posted that video is because that information came from a very reliable source. Um, it started with uh, Wonderland was going with an American manufacturer um, and that that person thought that the manufacturer was going to end up being Premier because there were rumors that Premier had visited to Cedar Fair Parks. Um, so that's where that rumor came from. And uh, the last minute change switching from a wing to um, uh, whatever coaster this ends up being. A lot of people are saying last minute decisions like that don't happen, but a lot of you forget that when a park goes and submits documents for a coaster design, they don't just approach one company. So let's say Wonderland approached b and um, Zamperla, Intamin, and Mock for a design in the mountain for a coaster. They chose b and they surveyed about b and and they were gonna move forward with b and but then they made a last minute decision to not they're just going to pick one of those other manufacturers that they would have approached with a design. So last minute switch ups are not um, out of the box. They, the designs are there. The designs were prepared. Um, so those last minute decisions aren't as you know out of the box as you would think. So um, other examples of what's going on with this launch tunnel are other launch coasters designs. So if you look closely, let me find one. Um, Totatis has, um, and Terran have very similar designs for their launches as well. Those steel bars going across, and then obviously there's going to be some theming installed. Um, and yeah, so these are some examples I wanted to show you guys to um, boost your confidence on this being a launch channel. Because when I was going to first upload this update, I knew it was going to scare a lot of you that they were putting the roof in and there were no footings or track in. So it couldn't have been for um, the coaster. When you watch tomorrow's construction update, there is even more proof that this will not be a maintenance tunnel. So stay tuned to the construction update tomorrow, okay? There is more proof that that is not a maintenance tunnel that they're working on right now before your eyes. So very exciting stuff. I'm really excited showing definite signs of it. So I wanna talk about that steel framing, the steel framing going down, and then the concrete walls. A lot of people are like, well, why is that steel framing in there? Well, it's in there because um, let's say concrete crumbles, you know, high vibrations over time as it ages, it crumbles. You can't even have a tiny little pebble of concrete fall off that onto a guest. So that steel framing is acting as a retaining wall. They use this on similar projects like the go train expansion, um, and stuff like that. So again, um, these are all my arguments that this is a launch coaster tunnel for those of you that were maybe starting to lose faith. Um, and our new maintenance tunnel is the one by Vortex. So wait for tomorrow's construction update and there'll be total proof of that. Um, and I have a lot to sh tell you guys about what's going on at the park. Um, some super exciting stuff. And yeah, so don't worry. A lot of you are panicking about my premiere video. My case for Zamperla video is coming out tomorrow. So as I told you, if you watch that video, a lot of you are being like, whoa, what the hell? I don't believe that rumor myself. It did come from a reliable source. And I just wanted to put it out there because it came from a very reliable source that helped me 
um, figure out um, Lazy Bear Lodge will hold two years in advance um, and some other projects as well, uh, like the, the two new rides that came last year. So I trust this source. So I wanted to get it out there, American manufacturer or uh, more specifically Premier. And uh, yeah, so in case it ends up being right. But I am 100% on board with Zamperla and you'll hear why in my case for Zamperla video tomorrow. Anyways, that's my case for this being a launch channel with some um, solid proof um, and evidence. And if you look very closely right now, those rebar cages are going upward. So they're going to build up over um, instead of just a direct path over the tunnel. Uh, it looks like they're going to go up. Those th those little beams with the orange caps on them were bent downward. And today they were working on pulling them up and they're sticking up vertically. So definitely keep an eye on there as it is showing signs that they're going to go even higher and they might be building a bridge over this. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching my videos, guys. Don't worry. Calm down. As I told you, take it with a grain of salt like most of my videos. A lot of people forget. I just want to say this, that this is like a science channel. If you really want to like break it down, this is like science. Um, a good friend told me this. We are speculating until we have solid evidence. And I tell you guys to take something very seriously. And when you do science, you kind of assume something. So, oh, I assume this will be a maintenance tunnel. Okay, and as time builds, we slowly learn things and you slowly get the facts and you go, okay, well, that didn't work. So let's try this. That is what my channel is. That is what it has always been. And I'll tell you guys, I'll tell you guys official prediction or take this seriously when it is to be taken seriously. I promise you, I promise you that. My channel is designed to speculate and be wrong and learn from the mistakes and get going on building what this thing is. So sit back and enjoy the ride. That is what this is meant to be. Um, and I'm super excited you guys are really enjoying this content. And I'm really excited to see this launch tunnel transform into um, our new launch coaster. Anyways, thanks so much, guys. Um, and stay tuned for all my videos over the next couple days. I promise you they're really exciting and packed with details. Have a good one, guys. Bye.